Michel Mikomro was a Burundian politician and army officer who ruled the country as de facto military dictator for the decade between 1966 and 1976. He was the last prime minister of the Kingdom of Burundi from July to November 1966, and the first president of the republic from November 1966 until his overthrow in 1976. Mikomro was an ethnic Tutsi who began his career as an officer in the Burundian military at the time of Burundi's independence in 1962. He studied abroad and was given a ministerial portfolio on his return. He rose to prominence for his role in helping to crush an attempted coup d'état in October 1965 by ethnic Hutu soldiers against the Tutsi-dominated monarchy. In its aftermath, in 1966, Mikomro himself instigated two further coups against the monarchy which he perceived as too moderate. The first coup in July installed a new king on the throne, propelling Mikomro to the role of prime minister. The second coup in November abolished the monarchy itself, bringing Mikomro to power as the first president of the new Republic of Burundi. Mikomro led a one-party state which centralized the country's institutions and adopted a neutral stance in the Cold War. Dissent was repressed and, in 1972, an attempt to challenge Mikomro's power led to genocidal violence against the Hutu population in which around 100,000 people, mainly Hutus, were killed. His regime finally collapsed in 1976 when he was ousted in a coup d'état by another army officer, John baptiste Bagaza, who installed himself as president. Mikomro went into exile in Somalia, where he died in 1983. Mikomro was born in Rutavua, Bururi province in Belgian-ruled Rwanda Urundi on August 26, 1940. His parents were peasants of Hima ethnicity, part of the wider Tutsi ethnic group. Mikomro studied at Catholic mission schools in Burundi and, in 1960, joined the military which was being formed ahead of Burundi's planned independence in 1962. As part of his training, he was sent to study at the Royal Military Academy in Brussels, Belgium in April 1960 to train as an officer. In March 1962 he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. At the time of the independence of the Kingdom of Burundi in July 1962, he held the rank of captain. In November he was made assistant commander-in-chief of the Burundian National Army, Army Nationale Burundaise. In early post-independence Burundi, the Tutsi-dominated monarchy of Mwambutsa IV attempted to balance the interests of Tutsi with those of the Hutu majority. In 1963, Mikomro joined the ruling Union for National Progress, Union pour le Progrès National, Uprna, party which, though dominated by Tutsi, also tried to attract Hutu members. In June, Mikomro was named State Secretary for Defense, Minister of National Defense, making him head of the military at the age of 23. In September he appealed to the National Assembly to merge the civilian national gendarmerie, Gendarmerie Nationale, into the army to head off antagonistic tendencies between the two forces, but this was never carried out. In October 1965, a group of ethnic Hutus, drawn largely from the National Gendarmerie, attempted to overthrow the Burundian monarchy. Their attempt was unsuccessful but Mwambutsa IV fled into exile. Mikomro led the repression against the coup's perpetrators. On November 9, 1965 he married Adele Nziimana, a Ghana daughter of a sub-chief. In July 1966, a second coup d'état brought the king's son, Antir V, to power. On July 8 Antir declared the dismissal of Prime Minister Leopold Biha and the suspension of the constitution. The following day he asked Mikomro to form a government. On July 12 Mikomro presented his government to Antir with himself as Prime Minister and Minister of Defense. Tensions between the soldiers in the government and the monarchy emerged in August and led to a reshuffling of the cabinet in September. On November 7 Antir attempted to broadcast a decree dismissing Mikomro's government, but was turned away from the radio station by soldiers. Three weeks later, on November 28, while Antir was in the Democratic Republic of the Congo on a state visit, Mikomro, now a colonel, led a military coup d'état that deposed the king. 
he then abolished the monarchy and proclaimed Burundi a republic with himself as its first president. As president, Mikomro declared Burundi a one-party state with Uparna as the only legal party. His ideology of democratic centralism brought all the country's institutions and media under the control of what was effectively a military dictatorship. His regime combined ideas from the socialist ideology of Tanzania with other doctrines from Joseph Desire Mobutu's regime in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, known as Zahir from 1971 to 1997. As a Cold War leader, he was able to play off both communist and western powers against one another. Mikomro became increasingly paranoid after suffering an injury in a road accident in 1967. He was widely believed to be an alcoholic. Various plots against the regime were discovered and unrest remained, notable attempts at deposing him were prevented in 1969 and 1971. His base of support became increasingly restricted to Tutsi in the northern and central regions of Burundi. In April 1972, a rebellion broke out among the Hutu at Rumanga in the south at the encouragement of the Tanzanian regime and spread rapidly. In subsequent ethnic violence, as many as 1,000 Tutsi were killed. The response of the Mikomro regime was to launch a campaign of genocidal violence against the Hutu in the region in which 100,000 people are thought to have been killed. The deposed King Antir, said to have led the rebellion, was himself murdered. In 1973, after further violence, Mobutu was forced to intervene to prevent a Tanzanian invasion. Following the end of the crisis, Mikomro introduced a new constitution allowing him to run for a further seven-year term. He also laid the foundation for the economic community of the Great Lakes countries the same year, along with the governments of Rwanda and Zahir. In November 1976 opponents, led by Colonel John Baptiste Bagaza, led a successful coup d'etat against Mikomro's regime. Mikomro himself was arrested and a second republic was declared under the dictatorship of Bagaza. Although a Tutsi and a participant in the killings of 1972, Bagaza made concessions to the Hutu majority and made some progress towards modernizing the Burundian state until he too was deposed in 1987. In the years after independence Burundi had seen a rapid descent into anarchy. The King Wambutsa IV rapidly changed the Prime Minister as anti-Tutsi forces threatened to unleash the same violence as had hit Rwanda. On October 18, 1965, Hutu leader Gervais Nyangoma launched a coup, ousting the king. Soon afterward the largely Hutu police force, under the control of Antoine Serquavio, began to massacre Tutsis in some parts of the country. Michel Mikomro was a young Tutsi army captain who had been born in Rutavua. In 1965 he had only recently returned from school in Belgium and had quickly risen to become Secretary of Defense. He rallied the army, and its largely Tutsi officers, against the coup and overthrew them. This was followed by numerous attacks on Hutus throughout the nation. Mikomro became Prime Minister on July 11. 1966 and was the real power in the nation technically ruled by King Antir V. Soon afterward, on November 28, 1966, Mikomro overthrew the monarchy and made himself president. As president, Mikomro became an advocate of African socialism and received support from China. He imposed a staunch regime of law and order, sharply repressing Hutu militarism. In 1972 Hutu refugees from surrounding nations organized an uprising of Hutus in Burundi. This was repulsed and was followed by organized ethnic violence that killed some 150,000 Hutus. Mikomro unquestionably played a leading role in this genocide. After this event Mikomro became increasingly corrupt, and also turned to heavy drinking. Some reports allege he became delusional. He was overthrown four years later in a coup by Deputy Chief of Staff John Baptiste Bagaza, a distant cousin of Mikomro from the same clan and political faction. Mikomro went into exile in Somalia, where he died of a heart attack in 1983. Born in the commune of Rutavua, in Bururi province, Mikomro served as president of Burundi's First Republic, 1966-1977, until his overthrow by John Baptiste Bagaza, 
also from Bururi. Before he seized power from Wami Antir on November 28, 1966, Captain Mikomro combined the functions of Prime Minister and Minister of Defense under Mwami Antir's short-lived government, July 8 to November 28, 1966. The capture of power by the army propelled him to center stage, first as the head of the National Revolutionary Council, NRC, consisting of 17 army officers, 12 of whom were Tutsi, and then as the central figure in the Bururi lobby, whose key members in the government appointed in 1968 were Artiman Sambanani Yi, Albert Shivura, and Francois Gizamare, all three of Tutsi Hima origins. As the most radical opponents of the northern-based Tutsi Banyaraguru, suspected of plotting a return of the monarchy, they did not hesitate to bring bogus charges against them in 1971, with Mikomro's tacit approval. All three served as Mikomro's inner cabinet during the 1972 genocide, but it is widely believed that it was Mikomro himself who personally ordered the assassination of ex-King Antir. After dissolving the government on April 29, Mikomro emerged as the central actor in the organization of the killings, beginning with the brutal repression of Hutu suspects in Bururi, the physical elimination of all Hutu troops within the army, and the transformation of regionally based repressive measures into a countrywide genocide. He was overthrown on November 1, 1976, by his own cousin, John Baptiste Bagaza, thus ushering the birth of the Second Republic. Mikomro was exiled from Burundi in 1977. He took up residence in Somalia, then ruled by dictator Syed Bar, who was a close friend. He gained a degree in economics from the University of Somalia in 1982. He died of a heart attack at Madina Hospital in Mogadishu in 1983. Thank you for watching this video.